we're here taking a look at the various tools that you can use on your spiral mixers. Uh, it's the SP group of mixers that we're talking about? Um, we are talking about here, we are using uh, our mixing tools, we are using for our SP mixers and we are using for the Kronos mixers and as well for the Titans. We are using every time the same, the same principle. Yeah. Uh, we have a free zone mixing, mixing principle where we are using the, the guide bar and we are using the spiral. Okay, so you find this guide bar uh, significant in your mixing process? Yeah, it's very important to have the guide bar because um, we can control the rotation of the dough inside the bowl uh, because otherwise the dough is not getting every time to the, to the spiral and that's why it's very important to have a guide bar in the middle. Okay. I've seen on some mixers like San Cassiano for instance, they'll have the, uh, it becomes a donut bowl. In other words, they had that, that shaft in the yes. center come up. Is that similar or is this different? Um, it is different because um, when you have this kind of, when the bowl, in the bowl you have this form like a volcano, um, you have then, when we are talking about, he, about the guide bar, the guide bar is coming from the top onto the bottom and this gives the advantage that we can really control the complete dough inside the bowl. Now, here we have another style uh, blade that you could use. That's for rye flour? Yeah, this tool is a, a special tool for rye flour uh, because rye flour has, um, with rye flour, rye, rye has a lot of gluten and rye normally we are not kneading, we just mix. And that's why we have this special tool uh, that we are just mixing the ingredients together but we are not kneading the dough. Your third tool? Our third tool is um, it's the tool for the UC mixer. Uh, it is a tool what we we have around the world. We have uh, sold uh, around uh, 3,000 units of the UC mixer. It's a very special tool which is it's perfect for soft doughs like chibatters but also a very good for it's very good for a toast spread as well. Simulates more like an oblique yeah, uh, it's mixer. That, that would be a replacement for it. Yes. Yeah. All right. And what we are doing with this tool is um, we are more stretching the dough and folding the dough. Now, would this be able to do other things if you had this mixer and, and you were a full line bakery, let's say a retail bakery, for instance, and you're going to make uh, Danish, you're going to make uh, other types of products. Would it be a, uh, would a spiral be the better choice or would this style be a better um, choice? If you are producing various types of products, I would recommend to go for the spiral. spiral. And okay. there is also one reason. Um, with our mixer, we can start, uh, we are, when you have, when, if we are talking about the filling of the bowl, we can start from 10% of filling until 100% we are getting every time the same dough out of it. That means if you would like to make uh, smaller batches for developments, uh, for if you would, if you have a customer which would like to make a special product where you don't need so much dough, you can use also this mixer for a very small portions of dough, and that's also an advantage. And you're getting out from 10% to 100% every time the same quality. So this is really a big advantage of the spiral. For a rye mixer, we discovered that Cooper actually does have a special panel design for the rye mixer. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, this was designed to replace the elliptical mixer, which okay. is a hockey stick mixer that we made many, many years ago. Uh, for rye mixing, you need a very slow action, a slow development of the dough. If you have something like spiral, then it's a little bit too aggressive for that type of product. So we made this tool, which is available in all sizes of mixers that we make. And it gives you the slow development, which is designed for rye above 60% rye content. So for anything from 60 to 100% rye. Okay. Otherwise, we could just use a regular spiral, right? Yeah. That's uh, that's correct. Okay. Very good. Thank you.